Wagwan, everybody. Lennox here from Simple123 Trader. Hope everybody's doing well and are safe. This is the uh, weekly outlook for the currencies and futures for the week of October 31st to November 5th. Let's take a look at um, the some of the currencies and uh, futures. And what I'm starting off with uh, tonight is a look at the Australian dollar futures. And I'm on the monthly time frame, and I've marked this chart up considerably. And I'm going to go down in the details of it, of what I've marked up, just to kind of give you an idea of how I look at the chart overall. But uh, what I'm going to do at this level is to just show you um, how I arrive at all this kind of prognosis. So the first thing I always start off with is uh, the monthly time frame, and uh, what I'm looking for is uh, an overall um, controlling um, move on the chart. So in this case, uh, we can see we started up up here, and we've ended um, down in this area currently. So in in the intervening uh, move, we can see, we can clearly see that. We've had quite the move to the downside, hit a low, and and price has moved back up. Now, what I would be expecting if price is going to make a move to the upside, then in the long term we would need to break this this high here uh, at this level. So actually, if I just erase that line, let me just do that line over again just to show you. We would need to break uh, this level here. Okay, so I'm going to, what I'm going to do uh, from the top, what I'm seeing overall in, in my structure is this move. And now this is what um, this is what I'm expecting to occur. And I would see something like this, and then a move back to the upside. Okay, so that's the long-term outlook. Uh, I'm seeing for the Aussie versus the US dollar. Currently, we're sitting at this level here. So what will be the next move? Um, I would expect price to uh, come back down into this area here, back down to this level, uh, basically, something like that. Okay, now let me clear that. And I'm going to draw that line that I just did before. So let's put a line across the tops. So an X, if we break this current line that I just put on to the upside, so if we break this line to the upside, then we are going to be clear and into a new bull market for Aussie versus the U.S. dollar uh, in the in the into the future. So you can see uh, from this point here that that was 2018. So it took two years to get to this bottom. So it is definitely possible that it could take uh, another two years before we could get back up to that level again. So somewhere in this area, we could get back up to that level. Um, and the next move, what I'm expecting is a move back down into this area. So therefore, what we'd be getting is an inverted head and shoulders move, which would then propel us out of this into a move to the upside okay so that's the overall look of, of that so what's happening now and what's of course what's going to happen for the rest of this week would be the key for us right so weekly chart um, again on the weekly chart we had a head and shoulders here and our neckline is you know, right in this area and we kind of we broke it we broke it in a number of ways we came down and now we formed this move and back up to this level so what what's going to happen next okay so this is on the weekly my expectation again is for price to continue back down so um, are we ready to turn to go back down? It's possible. Let's drop to the daily and take a closer look at it. Okay, so on the daily, this is what I'm seeing overall. So from, from this level, um, we came sliding all the way down. This was, this was our, our right shoulder 
and then we formed this this structure that took us all the way down to this level and we could actually break it like that to there now we move back up and we're pushing back to the upside but it looks like we might have exhausted our moves to the upside at this point right back into this uh, range here and um, it's of course possible for us to to even go right back up to you know clear back up to this area in this move but I really don't see that happening. We are in an overall move to the downside. So I would expect price to turn, continue uh, its trajectory to the downside. So this is on the daily. So expected for the rest of the week movements down in Australian dollar. Now I'm not gonna do this for <clears throat> everything I look at tonight. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I uh, break the chart down and look at it and make my prognostication for the week. All right. Okay, next, uh, I'll look at Bitcoin. Okay, let's go to the, I'm going to go from the weekly. I'm going to go a little faster here. So Bitcoin, it too had made a uh, head and shoulders here and uh, dropped down to this level, turned around, went back up, uh, and uh, has made a kind of a head and shoulders here again and looking similar to what's happening over here. So we could see this coming back down, retracing this entire move back down into this level so this is a total possibility this of course is a longer term outlook on the daily time frame what's happening this week um, i could see a, a further push to the upside uh short term i don't really expect it to break this this high so um, we might we might come close to that might be kind of a fake out might, we might actually even break that high it is possible that they could break it one more time that's total possibility that we could do that and then after that i think we'd be coming back down again so that's my look at um, bitcoin so it looks like we have a little bit of strength there for the start of the week at least anyway so we'll see how that plays out okay looking at crude oil i go to weekly and crude oil um uh, let me go to the monthly on that one just to kind of get an idea so on the monthly We've, we've broken to new highs. We're pushing very strongly to the upside still. So I can see price uh, making it up into the $100 area uh, in the foreseeable future. So we, it's gonna be a long winter here. So you, you know it's totally possible that we can hit 100 before the winter is out. And I can see that already um, taken shape. So uh, lots of strength for crude oil going into the winter doldrums here. So uh, I would continue uh, buying instead of selling at all. Okay, now um, I have, uh, that's Bitcoin. I have other um, coins, Dash, for example. Let me just go to the monthly on that one to see. So that one's pretty new, you can, as you can see, and uh, quite a precipitous drop from, from its heights and then this strong move to the upside. But it looks like we still have further weakness. So anyone looking to, to uh, buy this uh, Dash coin, um, what I'm seeing overall, again, the, the controlling move down to this level, and uh, we came back up to there. So I'm expecting further weakness to the downside here. So now you seeing this breaking this level going up. Um, so further weakness in Dash to come. Okay. Uh, take a look at the DAX. This is the German global. German DAX. I go to the monthly on this guy. Quite the move to the upside. We've broke broken to new highs, and uh, looks very very strong overall. The DAX. So I'm not going to bet against it. I would continue looking for uh, moves to the upside. So we have to get a little pullback in here before we go again. But that's that would be the the play long term and on the daily time frame. Um, Again, you can see we're inside of a, um, a channel here, and we're at the top of that channel, so we could expect a pullback first before we we could start going again. So maybe a little bit of weakness uh, short term, but um, long term strength in the DAX. Okay, looking at the Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar has had quite a nice run uh, recently because of the news from the Bank of Canada um, so still looking like it's, it's 
that lots of strength against the US dollar overall and what's telling what's the telltale sign right here is this move to the upside so we have quite a ways to go to get back to previous highs but I see that uh, going for the Canadian dollar in the long term and in the short term uh, maybe a little bit of a pullback but not I don't expect too much of a pullback and uh, we would continue climbing um the u.s dollar let's take a look at that one there's also dodge coin um so the u.s dollar on the monthly time frame okay so we came back into support we are now moving to the upside so i'm seeing continued strength in the u.s dollar here and interestingly so that might uh yeah that might uh, be interesting for the other currencies like aussie and euro and gbp and so forth the us dollar continues continues its rise and we'll have weakness in those other currencies like aussie like, like i was pointing to coming down so euro would do the same gbp would do the same new zealand would do the same and uh yeah us uh the canadian the um swiss um and the japanese yen would more than likely continue to the upside so you can see uh we're sitting at a, a very crucial point right now so we could we could have some sideways movement but uh, more than likely heading to the upside overall for uh, the us dollar so in the short term here and during the week uh you can see that nice strong move but we could get a pullback first before we go again so um, we're kind of in a, in a little bit of a messy area here but still the trajectory is to the upside overall that's the euro so again i would expect the euro to continue its fall and that's what's happening right now um, it's heading to the downside and we kind of have a pseudo head and shoulders here as well and breach of that neckline and so we are indeed heading uh, south okay so euro weakness with um, us dollar strength is definitely in the works um ethereum similar to bitcoin quite the move on ethereum um it's just basically sideways right now so dropping to the daily you get again we're sideways so and we're in, in this channel sideways so i expect that kind of volatility it's not really um clear which direction we're going to be going here at this point but from the higher time frame we went back to the weekly we can see that um, because we hit a low at this point, um, I would expect the trajectory to continue to the to the upside. But it's it's we still have a, you know we could still break to the downside back down one more time before we get that longer term. So uh, it, it's in a choppy area. So I would not be betting on this guy at this point anywhere. Okay, what else do we have? Let's take a look at gold don't want to make this too long but um there's so many of them i can touch on but um gold um is up in a uh, a choppy area right now as well and so it's trying to make make its way i'm not sure uh, if it's going to um break through at all at this point it looks like we have some weakness to come so we're looking at uh, the daily this week we're we're inside this channel and um we are at the top of the channel heading back down so i expect weakness in gold for the upcoming week um got litecoin got japanese yen um silver uh let's take a look at the us the 500 s p 500 monthly so still pushing strongly it's broken to new highs again as i as i called out from last week uh we're pushing to new highs and um it still looks uh very strong overall don't see any uh, reason to be in panic mode it's you know we're way up there mind you so you have to be, be careful still but it still looks like we could come into some kind of a sideways movement at this point before we go again but it's we're we're still very strong overall in the us um i've got other coins um xrp um us technology group one more let's see which one let's take a look at litecoin litecoin 
Okay, weekly. When I look at US 500, it's basically, let me just go US 30. It's basically the same as the, the Dow, the Dow and the US and the US technology. They all kind of go in tandem. They all kind of go the same. So we broke the new highs there as well. And um, we're pushing uh, very strongly to the upside. We might, again, we might be coming into an area of some, um, you know, choppiness, but overall we're heading to the upside. All right, and lastly, like I said, let's take a look at Litecoin, and that will be it um, on the monthly for Litecoin. Okay, also a very uh, volatile um, coin. Um, big, huge drop from 420, way down, back down to 106. Now it's trying to push back up. So does it have enough um to continue its move? It's trying, but it's it's in a very in a very tough area right now. So it, it, there's a lot of um, volatility there. So it's at a good price, mind you. So, you know, if anyone were wanting to own Litecoin, I think this would probably be a good, a good time. Um, looks like we, we came all the way up, back down, and now we're looking to, to continue this to the upside. It looks more so um, like that's what the scenario looks like overall to the upside. So that's a look at um, some of the, the futures and currencies and and, uh, and indices for this week. So profitable trading to everyone. Uh, be safe. Madonna. Thank you.